Hey Aries, how is it going? Happy May 16th to the 30th. This is your first time checking out True the Divine's channel. What is that? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome. Thank you for coming back. A very interesting reading, I must say, for the second half of May. I know it's a little late. I apologize. I'm going to get better at making this, so I'm right on time. So with that, let's just dig into your reading. You've been waiting long enough, Aries. We have two Oracle Power of Love cards that came up. The first one is talking about kindness. It says you are humanitarian, made of love, and you're able to share that energy with others. So for me, the second half of May, Aries, is just about finding it within yourself to forgive. Kind of having that kindness um, come across for you onto others. You know, because sometimes you really don't know what someone else is going through. So maybe showing emotion, showing remorse, showing some type of support. That's what I'm feeling like when I see this card, when I hear this card. Um, the second card that's coming through talks about acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace that rhythm of life. So accept the good days, accept the bad days. Know that everything you're going through is just taking you to the next step, um, the good or the bad. Um, just try to release the control of knowing everything. Release the control of how people affect you or how you affect people. Um, because I feel like if you don't, you're kind of just straining yourself, guys. You're kind of just... Um, you won't get any... Like, you won't get anywhere ahead. You won't... Um, You'll just stay stuck and I feel like you'll stay stuck within your emotion. You'll just, you know, you weren't, you're not going to be happy because you're going to be living off someone else's emotions. Um, cause you have a hard time accepting, right? Sometimes accepting the truth hurts, but sometimes that's what you need to do. So that's why I feel like with those cards. So let's just dig in. We definitely have wands energy here. So, um, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, your energy is coming up. We have the three of wands with the temperance, the magician, we have justice, we have the fool, ten of pentacles, so Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn you could be dealing with, followed by three of pentacles. We have cups, um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. That's eight of cups, nine of cups as well. We have wands again, 10 of wands. And we have nine of wands. So I feel, where am I gonna start? <clears throat> I feel like Aries is at a place in their life where they're trying to have it all together, trying to stay strong, trying to stay balanced, but it's like sometimes things feel just too much. They like, no matter what you're doing, no matter how hard you're trying, no matter um, what you do, nothing feels right. That's what I'm feeling when it comes to your reading for the second half of May. Um, temperance brings about having that patience, right? Guys, you can't, you honestly can't control every situation that you're faced with. You can't control how someone else, you know, comes at you or how someone else perceives you. You know, that's on them. I feel like you guys are going to drown if you let the opinions of other people keep you from moving forward, keeping you from, you know, chasing your goals or chasing your dreams or going after that relationship or whatever your scenario or your situation is. I feel like as long as you let someone's opinion about it, you know, it's just going to keep you kind of stuck. So I feel like now is the time where you guys need to have patience that whatever you've been manifesting, whatever you guys want to come through, it's definitely going to come through, but it's going to come through on the universe time, on divine timing. It's not going to come right now because you're ready for it. It's going to come when you least expect it. You know, it's, it's about balance for the second half of me as well. You know, just 
healing, healing what has hindered you, healing what has kept you from moving forward. I feel like that's where you guys need to be for May. I feel like some of you with this 10 of wands, you just, you know, you feel like the weight is on your shoulders. You feel alone. You feel like you're the only one battling, battling it. I feel like you feel like you have no one in your corner. You have to take on all these different responsibilities. And I feel like because you're doing that, you're overworking yourself. You're overwhelming yourself. Um, give the duties to those close to you. Give the duties to or the chores, whatever, however that resonates with you. Share the load. Um, try and make life a little easier by delegating, right? Don't try and feel like you have to do everything yourself because you're just going to leave yourself really drained, really exhausted, I feel, if you keep going down that um, path. I feel like Aries is at a time of change right now. Um, you're in the driver's seat of your life. You can pick, you know, if you're going right or left. And I feel like that is why the Knight of Wands is here. This is about change. This is about action. This is about just taking what, what it is that you guys want, you know, and only you guys know that, you know, if this is a new job, just going after it without thinking of it. If this is an education, you know, going back to school, if this is, you know, building a business Whatever it is that you guys want to manifest, whatever it is that's coming through, um, know that the cards are in your favor. Like, you guys have the ability, you have the skills, you have the worth that if you have the teamwork, like, you have everything to go out there and manifest what you guys want. You're the ones holding yourselves back, right? I feel like that is why the Three of Wands is here. This is talking about that preparation stage. You know, you're looking out into the future and you're seeing, you know, all of the things that you guys can grab and it's like that fear is kind of holding you back because you're asking yourself you know can i get that am i worthy of that you know am i good enough for that so you're kind of just dwelling in your own um emotions right now you're kind of you're planning ahead um and i feel like you guys are moving in the right direction it's just kind of you know you're stuck wondering when the next steps will come through or you're wondering how you should approach the next steps or something on the line of that. I feel like you guys are just kind of in la la land, just off there dreaming. I feel like you guys can see the bigger picture. It's just kind of, you know, what is that bigger picture? You know, how can I start? What can I do today to start building for my future? What can I do today to get me to the next step? I feel like, you know, it's just having that patience that everything's going to come together when it's supposed to, right? Because we are at a time of celebration. You guys are celebrating something. Maybe this is celebrating, you know, getting out of some type of past relationship that was hurtful and abusive. Maybe you were put in a situation where, you know, you were around a narcissist or an abuser or something like that, right? Maybe you had the strength to leave that and that's why you guys are celebrating, Maybe you guys find out you got a new job or promotion or, I don't know, maybe you guys are at some type of ceremony for a wedding or um, a birthday, a graduation. I know there could be many reasons for you guys to celebrate the second half of May, but I feel like this celebration is kind of going to give you that kick in the ass to do whatever it is that you guys want to do, right? Because I feel like with the Eight of Cups, you guys are heading in that direction. You're seeking more. You're um, able to finally, you know, move on and let go and look on into what you want. You know, there is no more looking back at the past. This is just all forward from here on out. This is realizing that, you know what, hey, I am worthy of this stuff and just going after it and going and capturing it. You know, this is just not worrying that there's three cups still falling behind us, you know, those cups will catch up, right? I feel like this with the pentacles, three of pentacles, this is about a, a, just a time for you guys to learn new things, new hobbies, new skills. Um, do something new that you normally wouldn't do. That's what they're telling me. Just go and do something that you normally wouldn't do. I don't know if this is a hobby. I don't know if this is... I don't know. 
but it's something new, right? It, it's just going out there and, and doing something new that you normally wouldn't do. That's what's coming up as well. Because I do feel like, you know, once you get all of these things dotted, your T's and I's and E's and however that saying goes, I feel like you guys are going to reach that stability stage. You're going to reach that financial stage where everything is going to be in place. And um, it's just going to be, I don't know, it's going to be stability. That's what I keep hearing. You're going to have lots of family stability. You're you're going to get rewards. You're going to see rewards. Your success is coming through. I feel like you just have to take with a full card. You just have to take a leap of faith right now. Just know that you guys are headed somewhere. You're headed in a great direction. You have to just trust and remain open that the universe has your back. That spirit is guiding you where you need to go. I feel like opportunities are knocking for some of you, you know. Maybe you have more than one option or two options, you know, and the choice is, you know, you have to make whatever choice is right for you. You have to make whatever decision is right for you. And again, only you know that decision, you know, regarding this career or this job or this business or even this love, right? The justice card is balance, right? We've had a couple balance cards up here. Um, Aries seems to have to do a lot of balance for the second half of May, Um this, this justice could also be a legal ruling in your favor. I feel like if this is, you know, a child issue, I feel like you could gain custody. I feel like if it's a child support issue, I think you'll win on that. I think if it's a marriage, you know, I think you guys will be able to compromise um, something in May. Because I do have the magician here. And I think you're at a place now where you're able to apply yourself, right? You know what those first steps is. So it's about taking that first step. It's about knowing that the skills you have are what gonna, what's going to lead you to the next level. And I feel like you guys are right at the next level. It's just kind of doing those final preparations, doing those final, you know, planning so that you can get to the next step, right? So that you can um, just start building because you guys have that bottom foundation done. You know, you realize that you need to move on if you want something better and, and greater, right? I feel like I have to sneeze, but it's not coming. So your Oracle card to end this reading is talking about differences. That's what it looks like. So choosing the symbol for differences asks you to accept that you will not always agree with everyone and they may not always agree with you. As your goddess, I have seen many things since the beginning of time, known that the intricate, intricate differences between all beings are screwed and good. You must learn to accept that others are not the same as you. It's important to allow others to express their own opinions. Consider the differences between an orange and an apple. Both are fruit, but they are different kinds. Is one more valuable than the other? I think not. All creatures, all beings have a right to their uniqueness. Try to see and hear the other person's side if you can. So Aries, I know that it can be hard to kind of um, be the bigger person when it comes to a situation, but I definitely feel like there will be a situation in the second half of May that you're going to be put on the spot and you're going to have to listen to the other person's opinion or, or whatever it is. But know that just because someone else has a different opinion of you, something someone else have a, has a different, um, what's the word I was thinking? Yeah, I think it was opinion. But just know that, you know, it doesn't mean they're in the wrong or you're in the wrong. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So I feel like you are going to be faced in that type of situation. Um, just... Have respect for them. Have respect for yourself to know that, you know, you may not agree with them, but you have to go this route to get to the next level. That's what I feel. That's what I have for you guys. Let me know how it resonates. Hit me up in the comments. Um, you can send me an email at trulydivinetarot at hotmail.com for a personal. No, I'm sending you guys all love and light. Subscribe, like, if you haven't, and take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in June,